Hmm. I don't think we're in Vegas anymore. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. What up you guys, Ace of Vegas here, and today I wanted to go ahead and do a little something different. So today, I wanted to go ahead and try out the brand new Pokemon My Vegas game. Uh, I can't even keep this up for a millisecond here. I really wanted to go ahead and uh, play this joke for quite some time. Uh, I, I found an old emulator for uh, Pokemon Yellow, actually, and that was actually the very first Pokemon game I played when I was like uh, nine years old, way back in the day in 1999. And I, I just kind of wanted to play around at the game corner. So a, a feature in Pokemon games that they used to have is they actually used to have a casino. So you'd actually play slots, and I think there was a Kino mode for a couple of them. And then um, you'd actually go ahead and uh, play the slots in hopes of winning the slots. So you, you could uh, trade them in for Pokemon. And here, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. So you could actually trade them in for other rewards here. So my Vegas was grooming me uh, well before... Uh, yeah, well before I was uh, actually able to go to Vegas, and they're trying to- nope, there we go. Let's see, um, I'll show you some of the prizes that you can get- well, actually I'm not even sure if I'll show you some of the prizes. I think we should just go ahead and play some Pokemon slots over here and see what happens. So let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock, we're gonna do max bet. And the fun thing about this game is you're actually able to kind of control the spin. And then um, you actually press the real button to uh, actually stop the spin. Now I always remember the the players' guides that told us to bet max, and of course they were uh, encouraging this underage gambling in this uh, Japanese video game here. You know, had had the parents all sorts of up in arms back in the day too. I don't think. Uh, no, I thought always that was a weird thing. I never actually liked this bit of the game because it involved absolutely no battling. Uh, virtually no Pokemon, and it was, uh, I think the only good thing about it was you could get Porygon, which is otherwise a pretty difficult Pokemon to find, and, um, yeah, they got rid of that in the new Let's Go games, so you don't have to do this anymore. Ah, oh, man, I missed that one, too. I think this is where a lot of, a lot of folks my age, uh, started to think that uh, Slots was a skill game, and so, and not so much a, a luck game. And it's very apparent here that it is not a good game. Yeah, no luck on that one. Sometimes I just kind of press them as quick as I can. But anyway, though, this aside, I wanted to talk about doing a My Vegas podcast. I thought that that'd be interesting just to do like a My Vegas podcast or maybe even just a general Vegas podcast about interesting things that are happening around the city or happening on or off the strip, that sort of stuff. Uh, maybe it'd just be like a half-hour little deal. I'd really love to go ahead and get some other uh, Vegas tubers in on it. I just don't really know that many other uh, Vegas tubers. I know that uh, Chris Rock sometimes, she does some uh, Vegas stuff too. Uh, the Comps guy is also a very big... Uh, he was very big into the Vegas thing. And he's got, a, he's got his own channel there. I'll go ahead and uh, link both their channels in the comment section below. If you guys want to check them out. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, I've always thought it'd be just kind of cool to have like a morning show-esque little uh, podcast there. Working some goofy little sound effects and take uh, maybe some uh, viewer requests too. Like, we could even stream it live and- Oh, look at that! We got- We lined up the cherries! We scored eight coins! Not bad, let's give it another go. So... I don't know, just a thought. Would you guys be interested in having a- Ace of Vegas podcast, just to see some of the cool happenings going on. Uh, maybe we could even exchange uh, slot techniques or uh, card techniques or something along those lines. I don't know. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of losing my voice here. Uh, I've been working a lot of extra hours, and uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think that I've been doing a great job of keeping up with uh, with the voice and the regiments and all that. So that's on me. That's on me. I'm real sorry about that. I'm gonna set my game up, take a couple days off here in the next uh, next couple weeks. And um, actually I'll take you guys with me, we're gonna go to Vegas. We're gonna go to the Mirage Hotel and Casino. And maybe we'll stop by the spa, maybe we'll just hang out at the pool, have a good time there. I'm thinking we should do that. Oh, see, now here's something really cheap, you see that? You see how the uh, coughing is one-off? Like, this should have been Arbok across and then coughing across, and that's some BS, man. 
We're only 30 spins in, that's the worst part. We just have not done well in this game. Now, I used to hear that the secret was you'd uh, spin like three or four times just to see if it was a decent uh, slot machine or not. And if you didn't uh, get it right, didn't pick the right one, then uh, that was just not going to work for you. Nah, that's crazy. lousy. Again, I only ever did this so I could catch Porygon. See, there it goes. It flipped it again. Team Rocket. The Team Rocket's just wrecking us over here. Yep. See, they're, they're just kind of mad at me because I broke up their criminal organization. <laughs> Not sure if any of you guys remember that bit of the game in the Celadon game corner, you fight off uh, Team Rocket. And in the yellow version, you even fight the guys from the cartoon, uh, Jesse and James, uh, with their Meowth and their uh, coughing and uh, Arbok and... Well, no, I think it's uh, Atkins at that point. So, there's that. Oh, don't worry. I, pr I promise I'm never going to do a video like this again. Until next year, I might do something different next year. <laughs> this is this is a chore, having to manually press these buttons the whole time. I see why I never played this game as a kid. This was like the worst. Oh my god, yeah, I haven't won anything. Come on, give us an Arbok or something. Man, this is uh, this is halfway through the spins here. <laughs> this is just so bad. All right, we'll see what happens next. Oh, I actually got the coughing, so I scored 15 coins here. Wonder if I can do it again. Let's see. I kinda like how this is a feature in the game here. It's a, it's a funny little uh, throwback to uh, mafiosos and all that running cities, because the entire city is Celadon City. That's the fictional town that uh, this part of the Pokemon game is set in is run by Team Rocket. <clears throat> so they have all this like great shopping, this giant department store, these great little uh, shops and all that. And it also has this game corner over here, this mini casino that you can uh, go to. And then you can bet things, get Pokemon, all that good type of stuff. And they just talk about how addicting the whole place is. Now they changed it in uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, so it is a game corner, but um, you know, it's only, only adults that are allowed to play there. So they don't let your character play, and you're able to catch the Pokémon that you'd normally turn in coins for, just outside the city. So, it's a little more family-friendly. Not quite as bad. But it is interesting that this was uh, done in the 90s, when Vegas was trying to be a bit more of a kid-friendly place. And this was uh, part of the result here, so... Oh, there we go, we got some Arbox, 15! That's all for a fully evolved Pokémon? That's a shame. Arbok could use a... Uh, Mega Evolution. I missed. I'm a bit of a Pokemon maniac sometimes. It was definitely the thing when I was coming up when I was a very young man. Oh, there you go, we got some coughing. Let's give another go here. That's pretty bad. I really like to hit those lightning bolts, because I think that's worth like a hundred coins. Oh, I missed the Meowth, too. I didn't mind the theming in this game, it was uh, pretty standard, and I didn't understand how slots worked. But I definitely very much thought that you could control these slots and make them do what you wanted to. Game never really explained this well. It just said, "How many coins do you want to bet?" And then, some, if you bet more, you had a better chance of winning. And that's all that ever really happened. Because it just turned on different lights. That was super confusing. Even as a as a ten year old kid, that was super confusing. So I'm not sure why your ten year old character in this would understand any better. Yeah, no skill whatsoever. No Pokemon battling. Just tossing money into a machine. It was rough. Uh, yeah, you know, I think that uh, I think a podcast would be really fun. Uh, let me know if you guys actually uh, want to be on the podcast, honestly. Uh, I think ideally what I'd have for the podcast is I'd definitely very much like... Oh, there we go, we got some cherries. 
Uh, I very much like, uh, I think, uh, definitely would like to have a female member of the podcast just to kind of balance out the testosterone a little bit. And then, um, probably, uh, I think, I think a male member would be fine too, so either way. I think it'd be interesting just to have a good balance. So, anyway, so we had, uh, so we just have a good balance of opinions. Oh, we're on fire here. That was three in a row. Oh, not so much on fire anymore. All right, let's get about 10 more spins in. So I'm honestly losing track. I'm pretty sure we've already done like 90 of these. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. Are you interested in a podcast? Would you watch an Ace of Vegas podcast? What day would be good for you guys? Um, would it be better than the live stream? Because I know I've been struggling to do the live stream as of late with the schedule. Um, I'd like to go live a lot more. I've been going live on Twitch a lot. And I'm not sure if a lot of you guys have Twitch or even get a chance to go on Twitch. So I was thinking about just bringing it back to YouTube and doing it that way. Just a thought. So let me know what you guys think about that. Think if you guys want uh, more Ace of Vegas streaming, that'd be nice to know. Just put that in the comment section below too. Uh, hopefully you made it through this whole video here. <laughs> now that I'm finally winning. Now let's go ahead and get this last one going. Here we go. One. Two. And me oh no, that's it guys. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and tell it no. That's our final payout. Let's go ahead and take a quick break here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and we're gonna count up the booty. Alright guys, so bad news. So uh, Pikachu and I actually did the math over here. Uh, you guys should see my Pikachu's nickname, by the way. It's, uh, Je it's uh, Jean Jean-Luc Pikachu. It's spelled wrong on purpose because he's also lucky too, but that's a, that's a story from another day. Anyway, though, we are sitting at 203 coins that came back out compared to the 300 that we put in, or a payback percentage of 67.66 .66 repeating percent. That is pretty bad, but oddly, that is actually not the worst payback percentage in uh, this whole series here. Um, actually, the uh, Ace of Vegas series has seen some worse ones. The My Konami games are still worse than the Pokemon game if you're trying to rack stuff up. Now, obviously, we didn't get loyalty points, we just got coins to go ahead and turn in for uh, more coins and maybe TMs. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go get myself a, uh, gonna go get myself a Hyper Beam TM, though. So, let me go ahead and go ch cash in a few of these chips that we kinda won. Get some good TMs here. Yeah, so you can get Scyther, Prince, Porygon, all these good, uh, good rare Pokemon. So, uh, yeah. Lots of great things to do with it. Kind of a goofy little thing. I can even get Abra over here, which are ridiculously cheap, especially since they evolve into super powerful Pokemon. Completely, complete disc one game breaker over here. Like, if you get an Abra early on and evolve it into a Kadabra, completely wrecks everything up until Sabrina. And then after Sabrina wrecks everything all the way through the rest of the game, too, it is ridiculously powerful. But yeah, on that bombshell, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands, happy spinning, and we'll have a real video next time. Thanks again.